hello 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 welcome back to the channel welcome back to the back to the scraps channel guys uh we are in hobby lobby as you can see behind me we have a knobs full sandals foot decorative hardware decor you know hobby lobby fluctuates when they do their sales so today i came in to get some pieces for uh some knobs for my um my cabinets in my bathroom so that's what we're doing today so i thought i would just show you guys some of the knobs they have because they're nice excuse my voice i am dealing with an allergy guys so here's all the, the different knobs that they have in case you were wondering so I have some of this one right here that's the one that I was gonna go with but that might be too glammy for my honey you know um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one okay but if I want to I can add some gold to it on my own so I'm gonna go with that but Look how cute. Isn't he cute? Fish, birds, butterfly, dragonflies. I like that one. Yeah, that one's cute. Look at this one. That's nice if you're doing like a uh, ocean thing. Right? Very nice. So, yeah. So, if you're looking for some pulls, those of you who love roosters for your kitchen and all that stuff. So, I thought I would just share that with you guys so you guys can see. Some of the knobs they also have a lot of hooks and pulls here on the side thinking about getting a base like this i want to have some floor bases i know i have the other ones friends it's very easy to get distracted in hobby lobby i'm supposed to be looking for vases candles and things like that and i promise you i went down every single aisle in this store so i'm just going to share a little bit of what i looked at do not i repeat do not buy candles when they are not on sale they usually uh, fluctuate when they have their sales maybe once or twice a month also, the boxes like my uh, flameless candles that have the orange and red stickers on, on them do not go on sale. I just want you guys to be aware of that. Okay, so these are the Lumiere. I love these candles. Um, I'm going to buy two. So I'm going to get two of these. These are the 3.5 by 7 vanilla scented pillar candles. I'll use these for um, the candle holders on the side of my bed. I'm also going to purchase another remote because I lost mine. And uh, so I'm going to get that as well. And let's see here. What is that? Okay. Do I need? I wish they had. Um, I wish they had some that were wider. And this floor one here, I'm really thinking about getting this one. I think about getting two of these since they're on sale right now. Those are nice. Also, my friends, do not buy flowers when they are not on sale. Again, they fluctuate week to week. Wait until the sale. It won't kill you. It won't kill you. Wait and save your money and get twice as much. If you are looking for baskets, my friend, you shall find them here. If you are looking for Ameri America memorabilia, I can never say that word, you will find it here. There's a lot of pictures, a lot of cool stuff, as you can see, with these sandwich presses. You've got everything from Batman to Care Bears, okay, for toasters, mixers, blenders. And yes, these actually do go on sale. So if you're looking for a quick, cute gift for someone, Check out Hobby Lobby, you guys. Don't sleep on Hobby Lobby if you have one in your area, okay? I'm sure there's something in there you will find that you love. Now, these cups or these glasses is for my uh, spring tablescape, and I found these at Macy's. All right, you guys. So, as you can see, we're back home, and I am back oily, oily, just oily. Anyhow, we're making dinner. I'm doing some pork chops and some mashed potatoes with some peas. I was gonna do some um, broccoli, but well, my kids probably would more opt to eat the broccoli than the peas, but we'll see, we'll see. If they don't eat it, they'll just be hungry because I'm not gonna play this game today. I'm gonna make this food and be done, okay? So let me show you what I got. All right, some pork chops. You guys know I season them and then I add my flour seasoning that I use for them. Don't act like you're brand new to the seasoning if you from if you watch my channel, because you know I'm always sharing the seasoning with you guys, and I tell you all the time, 
But this seasoning goes so well on so many things. I'm always telling y'all that. Always. Now, whether you listen or not, that's your own business. But don't say you didn't know. So here's our pork chops. They are well seasoned, and then I lightly coated them with flour. Guys, I'm thinking about painting my KitchenAid uh, with gilding paint, a gold color. And I want to do it gold because I know I'm going to always have gold somewhere in the house, and it'll always match. So that or I might just do a custom paint job on it. But either way, I will let you know when I do that. Now, you guys know that I'm using my All Clyde by William Sonoma Multi Cooker. If you want to know more about it, look down in the description box below or check out my playlist. It's going to be in one of those two spots. You're welcome. So here's how the pork chops turned out. Doesn't that look good? We are now working on our mashed potatoes. But you guys, this robe is so cute. I really want to make it into a dress. I mean, who says I can't? I might. I just might. But I really, really love it. I don't know. Y'all might see me wearing this with a belt as a dress. I'm just saying. Um, and I'm cleaning because look. A little crazy. I know. And I picked up the flameless candles that I showed you guys. Honey went and got me some batteries, so he's coming. But I've got one going here, as you can see. You see it? Let me turn the light off. You see that? It's not a real candle. But it does look like one. All right, so Honey showed up with the battery so I can get the flameless candles going. Now, these are flameless, but they don't have a flickering uh, flame, okay? These are going to be for the floor. I'm going to put them on the floor. Okay, you guys, so as you know, we've been working really hard to put this bathroom together over the last month or so. And so this is me fixing the rugs, cutting it, and re resizing it. Also, I had to do some spray painting on some wall pieces. I like the way those came out. And, you know, spray paint is one of those things where you love it, but you hate it. You love the outcome. You love that it's a quick fix, but it can get messy. I had to pick the medallion to go over the tub. And I also had to make the curtains. I bought regular curtains and decided to add some glam to it. Check All right, it. so we're going to be placing this that we put around the candles on here. All right, you guys. So I thought I would come in and show you what it looks like at night here by the tub. I've got those flameless flicker candles, like the same ones I have on the side of my bed. That's what's there, okay? And I've got my wine bucket, my bath bomb bucket, and over here, got white gardenia burning, because I love that candle. That one and mahogany teak wood and tents are my two favorites. I love flowers. So this was the DIY that I did. Um, I seen something similar online and I just was refusing to pay for it. So I did that. And let me turn the light on so you guys can see, but I want you guys to see it at night so you can kind of see the vibe, right? These flowers, it's Valentine's Day today. Honey brought me these flowers, they're wood flowers. Look, see the wood spews? I'm very artsy crafty, so he knew I would like this. And I do, because I'm gonna be able to use them and they're gonna stay and they're not gonna die. So that's cool. So let me turn the light on so you guys can see it. I'm not done in here. But at least you can see what I did do. So um, excuse all of Honey's hangers and belts because that's going. But um, in case y'all want to see some of the colognes Honey wears. Um, we've got Tanzania, Taria, Tuto, Tom Ford Oud Wood. Uh, what is that? Burberry, Weekend for Man, Savix, Elixir by Dior. Creed Aventus, Valentino. I just bought him the Valentino Intense. Um, Fahrenheit by Dior, Versace, Arrows, and uh, there's more over here. But my point is, um, I did the little gold there, and I painted these black, as you can see, and. This was my DIY for the bathroom. Didn't that come out good, friends? Look at that. See, look, I found that 
I think $6.99 at the thrift store, that whole little medallion thing. It was off-white and ugly. And I said, you know what? It has the same pattern as uh, the pattern on my walls and the black in, in my room. So I did that. And then all the little fringe there, I sewed that on. So I bought the curtain separate and sewed that onto it. And then I used the same pattern on the little hook parts there, the little hang parts that uh sequin fa fabric that i used to make the pillows on the bed as well as the uh, background in one of the photos so that's how i did that what do y'all think diy and i did it all the way down to the bottom okay and i'm showing you this because why pay a lot if you don't have to get you a little sewing machine if nothing else just for stuff like this you don't have to sew a garment just you could just do a straight stitch okay this was just a straight stitch all the way around i like it it goes well with the other um go to pieces here in the bathroom and then i also painted our little stands here gold instead of silver these are just the perfumes that i really use for the girls my real good perfumes are in my closet which is over there um, I also spray painted these, some of the parts black, as you can see, because I needed it to be black and gold. I was going to do one um, bronze, but I just was fed up and tired. These pictures are probably going to be moving. I might just put them there to fill in that space, but they're probably going to be gone. I still have to put some hooks right here where the towels are, okay? And that's going to be painted too. So, um, working on that. And then, sorry, you guys, I'm out of breath. My allergies are messing me up. It's raining so hard outside. And my, my, my body is not liking all this uh, crazy weather. So I just put a couple little flowers there for the, for the floor. This one goes all the way up to about here. But there was still a little space here that I, I didn't want open. So that's that. So I got a black and white rug from Ross, I believe. And then I got one for Honey, too. Now, Honey's was too big it was the same size as that one so i had to cut like hmm, let's say six inches off take this frill edge off here and then re-sew it back on so that it would fit this area and then i also got one for the bathroom so this is the same fabric for this picture for this wall in case you've never seen the wall let me back up it's a black wall um it's the same fabric now it's also the same fabric here so I have it all the pillows that I made I made these pillows with the piping um, I put that piece on that pillow so that's that I still have to put some pictures in the frame so I didn't send that for like a month and um, the frill for the curtains is the same one as this one it's the, it's the same one from the same spool so for my candlestick so I have the flameless candles in the bathroom right now because I wanted to show you guys that I got to pick some up tomorrow but they'll be going back in here after I show you guys. so really quickly I wanted to show you how the cabinets looked before I decided to paint them I wanted to go with a black the same color that's on my back bed wall and they came out great so as you can see these are the knobs I showed you in the beginning of the video from Hobby Lobby they look great in this bathroom so I'm really enjoying the black black looks really really good in here um so you guys i hope you really enjoyed this quick video this was valentine's day so honey hooked up a good meal we had some glasses of wine i enjoyed a nice bubble bath and it was just a great evening i hope you enjoyed this video and our shopping i hope you enjoyed how the bathroom is turning out we're still working on some things but we're getting there remember to stay wrapped in scraps remember to stay loving you stay loving god stay loving life please comment rate subscribe and share this video and i'll see you in the next video guys bye